Hi right, guys, and welcome back to another video uh, today. I mean, I was going to make a make a little bit of a, a scouting video. I'll show y'all how we break down some of this hill country and uh, some of these mountains. We've been trying to learn a whole lot uh, this year. We've been trying to mainly hunt the hunt the hills. So, uh, me and him has never been to this place before. I don't even think we've been on this road too much. No, not this one. But uh, yeah, I've never dro driven down this road even, but. The one next to it, we've kind of hunted around it, but not not a whole lot. But uh, we're gonna dive off down in the down in here and uh, see what we can find. So I guess we're gonna get to walking. All right, guys, we've pretty much just left the truck and um, hopped on this first hill. And I'm just gonna walk kind of around it, not even not really on top of it, but on kind of the upper end of the side and. Uh, if there's any acorns, acorn trees on the top, I might run up there and see if there's some sign, but I'm just going to run on the side until we get a little bit deeper in there. And then we'll really try and break it down from there. Right on that side hill. They were moving too fast. They never got a big hill. You still rolling? Yeah. Yeah, they was bedded right. They was bedded right on this side hill. Dude, they're so close to the road. It's working though. I mean, if you'd have walked that bottom, they'd have sat right here and looked at you the whole time. Yeah, they'd have never yeah, yeah. But if you had been here oh, lunchtime, yeah. they would have come right here on top of you. Hi right, guys, we're just making our way down the hill. Uh, there's one bridge up there where I kind of talked to y'all and then we jumped over to the second ridge and then two does was just bedded uh, on the other side watching this big uh, ditch over here. They was just bedded on the side just watching and I'm sure they come up here. Me and Noah's found a couple small acorn trees. They're dropping a little bit, not a whole lot, but they're probably coming up here and eating just a little bit. But I'm sure they come uh, from deeper in from this morning feeding around and they probably come up because this is the biggest part of the mountain right here uh, where they're coming up in bed for the daytime and I'm sure they get up and feed just a little bit throughout the day and I'm sure they was going to head back that away uh, down to them smaller fingers in the afternoon but that's what we're going to try and do is make our way down to them fingers this afternoon uh, where they probably primarily feed at but that's good we've seen two deer uh, the whole the whole uh, before bow season started when me and Noah was scouting in the bottoms, we didn't see single deer. And uh, I, you switched the other day, didn't you? Yeah, I started scouting the ridges. And you seen two does. Mm -hmm. I went yesterday for the first time, seen a buck. And then this is our third time. Five deer, five deer and three scouts. And then we probably went 20 to 30 times before the season started and mm. didn't see single deer. And just bottoms. The yeah. sign just ain't the same. I think it's mostly nighttime movement. All them, rape, them rubs and scrapes you see in the bottom of the trees about this big, I think it's nighttime. I think all the movements in the daytime's up here. But uh, we're gonna keep on going, see if we see anything else, Bosh. I'm sure we will. We just bumped two deer 50 yards off the road, so. It sounded like a herd of deer. Yeah, yeah, I was like, you know what? I was like, it's a tree falling. <laughs> it sounded like a bunch of them playing. Yeah. It's a pretty big hill, guys. You can see a, see a long way from right here. Pretty steep. And uh, it's worked so far. Got uh, both of them does, and I'm sure we're going to find some buck sign uh, once we get down. Uh, right before it drops off in this bottom is what we're hoping. All right, guys, we just kept on walking. Uh, the road's over there. Hopped over that first little hill, and we're still on this one. Bumped them does on the other side of over there. And we just come, and this is the really the first acorn trees we found on the side that looked pretty good. Uh, I don't think either one are dropping, though. Uh, they probably dropped last year, and they're not really dropping this year. Here's that one. But uh, there's a bunch of old sign. You can see all the tracks. Uh, 
that were here last year it looks like in the mud when it was kind of raining and stuff and uh, they've got a good trail going that away they're probably still walking if they're just not eating right here Yeah, we need to go look at this one too, see if it's dropping. All right, guys, we just dropped down uh, from the top of the ridge. We're going to come down here and uh, drop down in there, walk up the other side. That other side looks really good. It's got a bunch of acorns, uh, acorn trees over there we can see, but uh, they, they some stuff moving over mm -hmm. too. Could be some more deer moving around feeding. But I will probably spook them because we're going to be loud getting down through here. <laughs> Got it all on camera. Guys, Noah found two rubs over there. Uh, the ridge that we were on was over there, and there was a little trail leading down. It looked like the deer were using it, so we just went on down, and we were going to circle it, try and find some buck sign in the bottom. And I think what they do is f they travel down in here and then go up that way. I used to think that they would travel down the creek bottom, but I think they just jump them from one ridge to the other. So we were gonna walk down and um, try and find some buck sign and then jump up wherever we found it. But Noel found two rubs right over there and we started backtracking and here's a pretty decent uh, scrape right here. You can see the footprints in it and stuff. So we gonna mark it and just keep on walking. Tore up. Yeah. There's a decent one out there. I mean, it ain't nothing. This buck ain't big, but we're actually finding some sign now. All right, there's another road. He's probably crossing. He's crossing this creek right here. I'm coming up this side. But where in the world is he crossing the creek at? He's just walking right through and jumping right No, wait, dude. Oh, Look. Right there. Look at that. Actually, it looks like they got a trail. You see that? Yeah. Going. All right, Andrew's about to jump this gap. It's about to be Dukes of Hazard up in here. Well, he did it. I'll say that was kind of impressive. And you see these logs down here? That's where I'm crossing, y'all. Across the creek again, found a couple, couple old roads, a little bit of old sign. I think we're about to hop on top of this ridge. Yeah, we probably don't have to get on there. I think we're gonna find some sign. If we go left. We cut through right here, go left, and go up that sign. I see what you're talking about. I we'll had to get through this stuff first Here's though, we, somehow. We're gonna go bushwhacking and then climbing yeah. a hill. All right, guys, we headed up the hill now and uh, kind of found where they were walking. We got just like a little bitty trail right here, but you can see their footprints clawing into the dirt right here. Pretty cool.
and that's what we just came up. Jumped up on top of the ridge, bottom where we come from is down there. Uh, walked up, didn't really see a whole lot, but we kind of got to the top right here, and there's a humongous acorn tree dropping, dropping a good bit, and most of the acorns are already eaten. And uh, kind of walked over here, and you can kind of see. Uh, it might be hard to see on camera, but it looks like there's a bed right there. And I'm sure there's some more in this thick stuff. Uh, we're going to keep on walking, but this is a good spot right here. Uh, you could set up somewhere at the top up there. Uh, especially if you did a little bit more scouting. Seen some buck poop and some doe poop and stuff somewhere in here. But uh, we're not seeing a whole lot of that just at this spot. But if you do it, if you, if you do it your spot... Um, I would definitely set up on something like this. You could get up at the top of this hill and see behind you and then see down all the way down to where it jumps off of the um, creek bottom. And then you got your feed tree right here with your bed over here. That's a, that's a good example. I just don't think there's a, a three and a half year old buck or bigger in this little area. That's just part of part of scouting. Uh, we're going to try and do some more scouting videos and some different areas that we can find a mature deer. I just think this is just a young buck that we're on right now with the, how little the rubs were and stuff. And there's only one scrape down there. No, two. Two scrapes. But you can pretty much see that other feature I was talking about earlier. making our way around the ridge on the side like this and here's another feed tree right here and I was just talking about we didn't find any droppings or anything and we look down and I mean it's still wet got flies ants on it and there's some some pretty fresh doe and we just seen them two doe literally across this ridge you go down the bottom and they were bedding on the side facing this way so it very well could be them two does that we just bumped uh, been been through here this morning, made their way over there. Maybe had something to do with the wind, I don't know, but we're just going to keep on going across. And uh, maybe we'll find some more sign and maybe some buck, some buck droppings at the same time. So keep on walking. Look at there. Yeah, walking back to the truck. And uh, there's a little rub right here. Look down. There's a... A bed right here and two two piles of droppings right there oh wow three look at that and then whatever that is there yeah i don't know what he's been eating oh these little leaves see look at that oh there's another one he's, it's just a young buck but it's pretty cool just headed back to the truck right and uh seen that we pretty much found where this spike is or this little buck whatever it is is living there's another rub right here and then another one over here right there he, i think he just likes this little hilltop there's a couple acorn trees nothing too bad but he can walk right over that little hill and eat all the acorns he wants he's probably just living in this thick stuff right here but uh, i'm glad we finally found some buck sign on the ridge uh for y'all on the oh there's another rub too right there um, it's good we found some buck sign. It's just not the buck we're after. It's just a younger deer. It'd be kind of cool to see what it is at least. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, we're trying to make our way back to the truck, but we keep running into signs. <laughs> uh, he, he likes this little hilltop right here. I mean, he could sit right there in bed and look and see this whole, this whole ridge right here. Now they was a digging at one point right here. Hmm. I'm sure we'll find some other sign on the way back too. Just made our way up to the top. Uh, the road's right over there. Got a little bit of beds up here at the top right here. And uh, something's been digging just a little bit right there. Might have been an armadillo. There's definitely some beds in here. 
some more out there. I don't know if y'all know, but we got an elk population in Alabama. So that was a stud whenever he was alive. Too bad he still ain't out here. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, that's this is pretty much how we break down um, how to how to scout. So hope y'all hope y'all enjoyed this video, and uh, y'all y'all let us know if y'all want us to keep doing this, and uh, we'll we'll try and keep filming for y'all just the scouting videos, and we might uh, film a little bit scouting and going and hunting and trying to kill a deer based off just a couple of days of scouting so y'all let us know uh, down in the comments if y'all would like to see that all right guys we're taking a little break we just walked up uh, half a mile Everest at least Andrew what you got to say well I'm thinking I guess we head on back to the truck uh, I don't think there's no mature buck in here there's definitely some deer there's deer tracks everywhere and uh, we found that good ridge uh, where the sun is coming up in the morning it's hitting all them acorns and it just seemed to produce a whole lot more acorns than any other side of the humps that we've walked today i don't know if that's a coincidence or it has something to do with it but uh, we did find a bunch of sign doe signs some droppings beds on that one spot deer and, yeah two deer uh on that spot but i just don't think there's no mature deer in here there's not a whole lot of sign in the bottom down there but uh, this is kind of the same stuff that i scouted the other day and i found a ton of sign i wish we were videoing uh, we might go back because there's some more spots that i didn't hit and there's just deer everywhere in that spot there i found 10 beds on one little hill 10 different beds and I'm, there were deer, there was doe droppings everywhere I think it's a whole herd of doe uh, that's living on there so but uh probably gonna head back to the truck this wasn't what we intended to find this is just how it goes sometimes so I'll try and explain it a little bit for you but uh, just kind of scouted out a spot on our phone to start with and uh, I always draw a line I use onyx and uh, draw a line where I'm going to walk, but I don't necessarily always follow it. I kind of let the terrain guide us, and um, it's kind of what the deer do too. They just walk with the terrain the least, uh, what do you call it? Path of least yeah, resistance. path of least resistance is what they take most of the time. But we started off and just walking through the humps, looking, looking for acorns on the upper sides of the of the humps because I've been hunting the bottoms on public land for four and a half this will be five years and I don't think I've ever seen a mature deer in the bottom in daytime maybe once maybe twice um, it, it just clicked the other day but every time I've shot a buck or seen bucks it's been on the side of ridges or tops of hills um, little ditches they're not complete bottoms, but exactly what this is behind us. The big bottoms down here, and it's just like a ditch separating two humps. That's where I seen two does this morning when I was hunting. Uh, that video's coming out as well, but uh, back to what I was saying, we just walk in the side looking for acorns and looking for beds and droppings up on the top, and next to them, see there's a good acorn tree dropping over there. But, um, and then you could also start in the bottom is uh, what we've done also 
the past couple days is you start in the bottom now yeah there's gonna be some buck sign still in there but I'm pretty sure most of what we're finding where we're located is uh, nocturnal or nighttime activity down in the bottoms now where you live I don't know they they could be in the bottoms and not on the hills but um, we've been trying to find some big mature deer sign down in the bottom and then we'll look on both sides of the ridges from where that sign is because he's walking down into it and up I for the longest time I thought they were walking just straight down the bottom but I got in a huge bottom the other day um, trying to find some big buck sign like I was just saying and I finally realized it it was it was like this on either side and you it feels like you're just I guess it feels like you're just so confined down there they I guess they think they got danger everywhere because they feel like they could they could be something coming from anywhere like that so I guess that's why they stay out of it and stay on these hills because they could sit right here where I'm sitting uh, the wind coming off their back so they can smell anything behind them and see everything for three miles in front of them I think that's I think that's what they do and then wait till wait till it gets dark to go down in the bottom but uh if you just keep doing that keep walking these humps and ridges and looking for acorns and some different type of leaves and stuff they eat on I think you should should bump into some and uh, some good good buck sign at some point now the other day you might have to jump from one to the other because one of, one of the ridges I found the other day it was nothing but does and then the next one I went to it was a little bit of buck sign and then two more down was where I really found a lot of buck sign so you're just gonna have to jump jump uh, from hump to hump and really just walk pretty much and look guys I just hope y'all really enjoy this and get something out of it and uh, don't think we're trying to be professionals out here we're just trying to take you on the journey of us learning how to hunt this and getting better every year and we hope to stick a giant buck but this is our story and our journey of learning how to hunt this public land and I hope you guys learn something too so I hope you like subscribe comment share with a friend we'll see you on the next video